I wish I had known that you could have infertility after having one or more children. I do know now that there's a name for this. It's called secondary infertility. When I was 32, my husband and I decided it was time to grow our family and have children. We became pregnant immediately and gave birth to a wonderful, healthy son. After a year, we, did, we got pregnant again, very quickly, and then unfortunately miscarried at 10 weeks. My OBGYN and a few family and friends that knew about the miscarriage assured us that it would be very likely for us to be pregnant again within a few months because we had become pregnant quickly twice already. Well, I was told this again at my six-month follow-up and at my one-year follow-up. And then at about 18 months after the miscarriage, I read an article in a magazine about secondary infertility. And I thought, oh my goodness, this is what I have. I took the article back to my OBGYN and we immediately started treatments. During this time, it was very challenging to fit in the infertility treatments and very stressful because I was working full time to pay for the treatments, managing a household, and taking care of an infant at the same time. Additionally, it was very difficult emotionally because you're really in between both worlds, the mommy world and the infertility world, when you have secondary infertility. I would go on play dates with my son and, and um, enjoy the company of the other mothers, but I was watching them also have their second or third child with ease and then having questions um, such as, when are you going to have your second child? And then when I would tell them that I had been trying for a few years already, um, I would get all sorts of advice such as relax or take a vacation. And so I didn't feel like there was a connection um, or I wasn't able to, to be around people that really truly understood. On the other hand, the infertility clinic that I attended did have a support group. However, the leader of the support group um, dissuaded me from attending because she said that the attendees there you know, really prefer for the, for the other people there not to already have children. It was as if, if I could not suffer emotionally because I already had a child. So I had to seek emotional comfort in other ways, and I did that by speaking to a female priest at my church, going to a counselor, and then I actually also wrote a song called Invisible Loss and found some people to record it and posted it on YouTube. The song gave me you know, very much needed emotional comfort and helped me get through it emotionally. Unfortunately, our treatments were not successful, and after about six years of trying on again and off again, we decided that we were going to be happy with just a family of three. I wish I'd known about secondary infertility, though, because I would have sought treatment sooner. In the game of infertility, um, seeking treatment sooner and having education about your different options is such a key in having success.